Well, I found the edges of your axles. I'll tell you why. Now listen up. Yeah, you in the back. Listen up. I got a story for you. Now back in my day, we said things like back in my day. But also, I had a student who didn't file the edges of his axles. And he lost the finger! Now in those days, all we could do is maybe use the finger as a doorstop or something like that. But kids these days, they probably make it into a thumb drive or something like that. Crazy. So, how do you do it? Let me show you. There's lots of ways you can file the axles. The first way that most people try is they hold a file up in the air and they just use that to file it. But that's a dangerous way to do it because you don't know what could happen. You can lose a finger! Now the next way you can do it is you can put the file on the table and you can just move the axle along the file. This gives you a lot more control and makes it so it's less likely that you'll get injured. That's a good thing. Unless, of course, you need a doorstop. Now, the final way that you could file your axles is you can hang the axle over the edge of the desk and you can file that way. This is my preferred method. I think it gives it the most control and it's easiest to make that nice rounded edge at the edge. So, you get to choose. Just make sure that you don't lose a finger! So now, you gotta make sure you file the edges correctly. You'll notice on the bottom image, it's nice and rounded. On the top one, it may not be dangerous, but it's got a lot of sharp edges on it. When you use it with the rounded edges, it's far better for going down the track. So you want to make sure that's what you use is the nice rounded edges. You don't want a bunch of sharp edges that could catch on the, on the track. So good luck and let the filing begin. Get some more